In medicine, the one constant is change. New techniques and treatments, trial results and journal articles, scientific discoveries. As cardiologists, we face a growing challenge. How do we keep our knowledge and skills current? What cardiologists have now is an information overload. New guidelines, the new clinical trials, the new performance measures. Medical science is evolving at a very rapid pace. It's a paradigm shift, and there's such an explosion of information. Impossible to keep on track of what's going on. To organize this complexity, we're working as a team, sorting through the science, leveraging new technologies, and reinventing the way we learn. We're the team of cardiologists, healthcare professionals, and educators at the American College of Cardiology. We are empowering people to be lifelong learners, and part of that is thinking of um, medicine as a continuum. You have to adapt a lifelong learning approach so that you're constantly surveilling the world for new information. To help manage all this information, ACC is developing the e-learning portal. It's a user-friendly portfolio and knowledge dashboard, an incredibly powerful set of data tracking tools and enhanced learning opportunities. The e-learning portal will be critical for the cardiologist who is challenged with remaining up to date on ever advancing technologies and strategies in treatment of patients with heart disease. The learning portfolio has the ability to bring all sorts of information together. Wow, that has a real impact on fellow and training learning all the way through graduation on into the continuum of lifelong learning. Maintenance of certification and continuing medical education credits can be a challenge to manage. The learning portfolio simplifies the process, keeping credits organized and up to date. There's requirements now for all cardiologists to be able to track their educational endeavors. And right now they're on little pieces of paper, note cards, or in somebody's file cabinet. But what the learning portfolio will be able to do will be able to track all of your educational endeavors, store them for you to see, and transfer to the appropriate accrediting bodies. ACC's Credo program looks for patterns in patient care and outcomes. And it has uncovered troubling disparities along the lines of race, ethnicity and gender. These discoveries are prompting changes in the way we evaluate, diagnose, treat and communicate with our patients. Some of the cardiologists who've already used Credo have been enlightened, some have been surprised, some have been sobered, frankly, because they didn't realize that such differences exist. I expect going forward we will see those emotions and many others. That's for the good because it means that we are evoking change, and that's really the point of Credo. Knowing where the gaps are is very important. In cardiology, identifying gaps in knowledge and performance is crucial. By finding the gaps in what we know, we discover what we need to learn, and that can mean getting the maximum benefit from the many offerings at ACC's scientific session. The CBLS is a competency-based learning system, and basically it's a set of questions that identifies knowledge gaps for an individual. They will then be directed to the sessions that fulfill those knowledge gaps. They'll retake the questions after they attend the sessions and um, not only have the education but be able to obtain MOC credit for this. Ultimately, the goal of lifelong learning is to provide our patients with more effective care and better outcomes. But Improving performance requires accurate feedback so we can adjust our treatment. Feedback also lets us know if we are learning and how we need to change our performance. PICME or Performance Improvement CME is really a new approach to delivering education to ACC members but really more broadly the medical community. We have to assess what that gap in someone's learning is, provide them an educational tool where they can learn, where they can address that gap and then re-measure whether or not we had a response. And so performance improvement CME is really just that, to assess, to educate, to re-measure. Board review courses are a valuable resource, and ACC is making them more available, informative, and interactive.
The board review course curriculum is structured so that an individual can attend the course, get basic knowledge as well as updated information in every facet of cardiovascular diseases. By going to the course, not only will they be prepared for their certification or recertification, but it also will tremendously help them in their practice. Education is a science, and that science tells us that people learn differently. So we design curriculum and tools that reflect the diversity of learning styles, preferences, and differences in the work settings of our members. One size does not fit all when it comes to an educational experience. So we have a variety of different offerings to our membership, ranging from a live program to a case study that can be um, accessed through CardioSource, for example. Uh, to uh, something that can be uh, provided to uh, our younger learners through an MP3 system or any combination of that. Nurses are absolutely vital to providing a quality team-based approach to the care of the cardiovascular patient and to meet the learning needs of those nurses. The college is working very hard to deliver education in an appropriate way based on the content. Interactive seminars and focused lectures are still a popular way to learn, especially when dynamic educators address the day's hot topics. The New York Cardiovascular Symposium is in a class by itself, and I think that that is a, a testimony to Dr. Fuster's skills as an educator, to his reputation as uh, somebody who is a leading authority in cardiovascular medicine worldwide. Maybe there are three secrets. Secret number one is to invite speakers who are top in the field. Number two is to cover all the subjects that today are hot. People like that. And the third, to be an educator, you need to be passionate. I don't want to be arrogant, but I feel very passionate about education. As lifelong learners, cardiologists never stop learning. Our school is right here every day in the examination room or the cath lab. Enhancing the learning that goes on in the practice setting is a significant trend. And again, ACC is leading the way. Innovative simulation programs conducted in clinics and hospitals use actors and patient simulators to evaluate emergency care procedures and teamwork communication. A very important part of simulation is to take the training, the educational experience, and have it occur right in the practice setting so that the, the lessons, the insights from the educational experience can be directly applied in that practice setting where they were assessed. I'm just gonna hold everything in position, see if I can get the sheet to follow. Live cases is a very effective form of experiential learning, allowing doctors to observe and discuss a real procedure occurring in real time. In a live session, a group of interventional experts will comment on the performance of an actual cardiology procedure. These aren't simulations. These are actual patients with actual problems that are encountered along the way. And it gives um, learners an opportunity to see how those problems and those challenges are surmounted. As ACC transforms how cardiologists learn and change, we're also helping to smooth the transition to medicine's new age of accountability. There is no question that cardiovascular medicine is moving into the age of accountability. Society really wants to know, as simple as this sounds, that we know what we're doing. And we as a profession have an obligation, that's the essence of being a profession, that we're a self-regulating body. We have an obligation to ensure that our members have access to information that can make sure they're competent. The future of cardiovascular education is in our offices, exam rooms, and hospitals, as new tools bring guidelines, research, and powerful databases directly to the point of care. This technology, in development now, will be a game changer, providing instant access to relevant information. So new technology is coming that will enable us to get to really the heart of specific questions, not giving you an explosion of data which isn't relevant to a specific patient. We need to allow our physicians to have access to the science. We need to educate them in the science. We need to bring the science to the bedside by educating 
so that we can indeed optimize patient care. But how we're able to succeed through all that means that we have to keep learning. And so our staff is in a process of learning how to be better educators. I think that's a good thing. The American College of Cardiology. We're a dedicated team of cardiologists, educators, and healthcare professionals with a passion for lifelong learning. Revolutionizing cardiovascular education and improving the quality of patient care across the country and around the world.